Are we really that offended? Are we, are we even really mad? Are we? Because the mom of the child wasn't mad. But like that bitch wasn't mad. She not even American. No, they're it's, Swedish. Right from they're Switzerland. Swedish. So no, they're from Sweden. Right. Yeah. So Switzerland. Oh, are Sw- they're Swiss. Swiss people. <laughs> they're, no, yeah. but what are the people called? Uh, I would think they were called Swiss. They're Swissin. They're Swiss. Oh, they're just Swiss people. Yeah. What's their language? I don't fucking know. Anyway, I don't know. You, See, you we're, know that we're realm? So not culture. Ugh. We're so black. Gosh. I mean, like, ugh, I don't really know it's anything just about black Americans, fuck it. Norway or any <clears throat> of those fucking places. Um, Us being triggered by it, I just was like, you know what, my people, we got bigger shit to fry. We got bigger fish to fry. Real shit. Like, I mean, seriously and quite frankly, who gives a fuck about H and M? Like, if you, all right, that shit is whack. Don't shop there. I didn't shop there to begin with, so it's like, oh, okay, sis. Have you ever been in a fucking H&M store? It doesn't scream black people shop here. I love I love H&M. You also don't dress like your quintessential black woman. I love H&M. Whatever that is, but... I get some nice shit out of H&M. And you also aren't shaped like... Yes. You can fit anything. Uh, it's... it's... You know what? I'm though? getting there now. They clothes though, are not made I'm for me to though. The skinny girl can wear because anything, bitch. they have me squeezing it. Did you hear me say squeeze? I have to squeeze into an eight. I'm every bit of a four so. in H and M. Yeah, exactly. Because that shit is made by like by flat, flat body individuals. Yeah, leprechaun <laughs> with no children curves. in Ireland or yeah. some shit. But this would this would piss me off about the whole thing. Diddy offered the child a million dollar modeling contract. Oh, and God, here he go. I'm just like Diddy. It's nice that you want to look out for people, but it's a lot of kids in America that get called nigger and get bullied, and I don't see you offering them shit. Like, where have you been, um, nigga? It's a whole, Flint, Michigan, still drinking Tang still, for water, for tap water. Still drinking fucked up water. It looked like Tang. Baltimore. Hey, you watch it, goddamn. Oh, oh, you I'm fucking watch it. Too soon. Shout out to my nigga Flint. I'm sorry, baby. And them kids in Baltimore didn't have no fucking heat. Right. You know what I'm where saying? Where the fuck was you, Sean? And like I was saying... I don't know this nigga's philanthropic efforts. However, he put this shit on his Instagram. You haven't, I, I don't know anything that he's oh, done Sean. about, you know, black American poverty. Like, we trying to when? say this motherfucker from a modeling contract with H&M? Wait a minute, but he already, he already modeling. <laughs> he, he's brother, a model. Brother. He's already why, modeling. Why do we need to give this one a million dollars? Oh, because you want to just basically placate yourself on his yeah. back so just in case he does become huge off of this sensationalized ass bullshit yeah, you're kind of like take that take that in the background that's Sean? what he, yeah, take that take that take that take that it's been a while since he actually said that shit though I you won't admit that. it no more you know that was a good ad lib though he used to admit it that was then. good he will take that shit yeah but yeah bitch so uh speaking of um wonderful black music uh even though I don't, <laughs> I don't know that Diddy makes it anymore. I'm not even gonna lie to you. He was on Mace's. He had he, a time. He was on somebody else's shit recently. Oh, Mace had something recently. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so about to. Uh-oh. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know that. Came and went. Um, yeah, and we were talking about it last episode, and you we know what? Every single time a new uh, song drops, new information drops on it, I'm going to talk about it. Black Panther's sure. soundtrack. Uh, that's being produced and scored by Mr. Kendrick Lamar, Mr. K. Dot, Mr. Westside, mm-hmm. hashtag hometown, um, himself has dropped. So it's, oh no, it ain't Jay Z. <laughs> okay, so it's not Jay Z on this song, it's J Rock. Who? <laughs> My nigga, who? <laughs> <laughs> Don't oh, okay. do him like that. I was geeky to like, Jay Z? <laughs> And my dumb ass just saw Jay was like, Jay's on that bitch. Yeah. Uh, Jigger. You know, it's Jay Rock, Kendrick Lamar, Future, and James Blake. And, oh, uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really understanding. I like, I like James Blake. He's going to be singing his ass off on there. Yes, yes. He is going to sound real soulful and pretty. Very much so. I like him. Um, And so I was trying to see if there was a way I could kind of have a little tidbit. Just to let you hear. Yes, I'm, I'm interested. Um. E. So that shit is mm. hard as fuck. Um. 
Mm. I am so ready for this motherfucking movie. You hear me? Was it hard as fuck? Because I didn't get no erection. Oh. It felt like kind of limp. Word. But maybe I just need to feel the entire soundtrack like in its full entirety. Yeah. yeah. Or like watch the movie and then hear the soundtrack. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? And yes. then it take you back. Because that sounded like some like getting ready for war shit. Oh, okay. That was some gun spray in you the back. You know what I'm saying? Like it was... Okay. So okay. It, it, it sounds like... Rifle. You know what I'm saying? Some scenes where we might be seeing the army of Watunda getting ready to yes. fuck some shit up. Or they fighting motherfucking in the background. All you hear is this ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. You know what I'm saying? So uh, uh, I'm just so uh, H-E-R-E for this whole Black Panther yeah. movie, bitch. I'm going to have... You know how they're Star Wars fanatics? Like, yeah. bitch, now and forever... Yeah. Like, everything is Black Panther and Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, get, we're going to have bar. this moment forever. It might be Black Panther instead of Dallas Cowboys. Oh, like look at you. Oh, shit. It might be a new era. You can, um... Go Marvel. It's it's so exciting. Way I love to go, it. Way to go, black people, for supporting. You know, Blackness. they were trying to... Um, you know, it was a lot of fake news going around. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> surrounding this movie, talking about... Black women were going to boycott the movie. Did we talk about this shit already? No. Black women were going to boycott the movie because Michael B. Oh, Jordan yeah, was dating a white dating like bitch. A, we don't give two fucks, no. and we never said that either. Mm-mm. You know who said that shit? The black man. Black man. Damn. They wanted us to be mad so bad. Y'all want us to be mad so bad that he fucking a white bitch because y'all mad that he fucking a white bitch like, and black why, bitches still want him. Like, what y'all mad for? Is. They mad. It's okay. The same reason why I'm mad at fucking Sophie, Boudoir, bitch, Karen fucking, Karen fucking Aubrey Jr., my nigga. Anyway, mm. politics. Let's get into some politics. Let's get into some politics. Let's just go ahead and motherfucking call a spade with a motherfucking spade is. Just go ahead and crack it open. Um, with, if you want to call him this, the president. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, that nigga crazy. I mean, the celebrity in chief is a wild motherfucking boy. Yeah. I mean, we can't make this shit up. We didn't, we didn't affectionately coin this whole segment now lies in hip hop America. You know what I mean? Because this motherfucker got it rocking like a reality TV show in this bitch. Yeah. Okay? It don't even feel like a real country no more. It just feel like we all out here just chilling, watching this nigga do whatever the fuck he want to in the Oval. I mean, y'all, y'all really be upset about. I don't know what what we what we really be mad about as people with Donald Trump. What do we expect? do? We be mad at him for being honest. Mm-hmm. Even when he, he's he's an honest racist, do we get mad at him about his honesty? He's unapologetic. Or do we get mad because he doesn't lie to our face? Like, which is basically the same thing. Like, he's unapologetically not lying to your face and being honest about his bigoted ass self. Yeah, so like, which so one are we mad about? Are we really even mad? Would we prefer for him to, to lie here's, to us? Here's, here's why I'm so not mad. Is because when this motherfucker was running, mm-hmm. I know I had ample, ample conversations with motherfuckers who just yeah. plainly decided not yeah. to participate in the election that led up to his, um, you know, his winning, his winning of the office, hmm. uh, the presidency. So uh, this is how democracy works. Okay, to be perfectly honest. This is how it works. Both of them motherfucking candidates was boo-boo as fuck. Boo-boo. But Both of them. Neither one of them got my vote. Oh, well, see, and this is what I'm saying. I voted. So well, I voted. Well, see, and this is what I I'm just didn't saying. vote for neither one of them niggas. Well, here's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. For the people who just didn't participate, though. Like, my 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 gripe never, ever has been who you voted for, goddamn, because mm. on some real shit, I did some shit I, didn't wanna, I don't want to admit in that booth. Keep it to yourself. I don't, I don't That's between be you and my motherfucking and voting booth. I'm gonna tell you who I voted for. Just know it won't Trump. And I wasn't happy with myself on the drive yeah. home. I didn't even wear my sticker. I didn't even wear my I voted sticker that day. Now when I voted for Bernie, proudly the thing was there. But uh Yeah, he lost the primary cycle off. I mean, they fucked him over. And that just lets you know, like, y'all really wanted this crooked bitch that lie in your face Girl, to so lead you. Just to bring it back to huh. the point. Yes. Um, Donald Trump, <laughs> who is our 45th president, yeah. uh, 
expressed frustration yeah. behind what would seemingly be closed doors, with air quotes, closed doors, uh, with people <laughs> coming to the U.S. from shithole countries. Yeah. Also, actual quotation marks. Um, sources told CNN on Thursday, one of the sources briefed on the Thursday Oval Office meeting. So, I mean, closed doors, but we're talking about what the fuck he said in the fucking Oval Office <laughs> with lawmakers in a meeting. Um, sources confirmed that he was that he asked everyone, why do we want all these people from shithole countries coming here? No, you got to say it. What? Why, I mean, why, why, why do we want all these people? Why do we want all these shithole, shithole countries shithole coming here? Shithole countries coming here. You know, get some money here from Norway. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Um, one person briefed on the meeting said when Durbin <laughs> got to Haiti, and we're talking about Illinois' Democratic Senator Dick Durbin, um, when he actually began to question Trump. Um, what up, Dick? Yeah, he he basically was saying that um, we why would we want people from Haiti and more Africans in the United States? And then said that the United States should actually get more people from countries like Norway. People that have blonde hair and blue eyes. That's his people way from of countries saying it. We don't even understand Norwegian fucking. They have blonde hair and blue eyes. That's all he cares about is the visual. Listen, okay, listen. All I care about is Norwegian salmon. Are you? Do you want Haitians here? Do you want you know? They are already here, baby. They are here. But you the question some is. Shit. You, you feel what I'm saying? My whole thing is that, you know, I saw a lot of people upset and triggered oh, yeah. by him calling these countries shitholes. I've heard people say, I, I've heard black people say out their mouth that Haiti was a shithole. Okay. Now all of a sudden we triggered people because talk about Donald the Trump says it because like they joke. don't want Donald Trump to be honest about yeah. shit that you, you'd say in your fucking living room. Or if your grandfather said it. While you is yeah. having holiday dinner, would it be that crazy? Yeah. Would it really be that crazy for somebody yeah. in America to basically say that Haiti is a shitty place? Now, I... Fucked up. It, it's Absolutely. pretty fucked up. Should our fucking commander fu- in chief be the one saying it? Absolutely. The motherfucker not. But he also shouldn't be grabbing bitches by the pussy and yeah. admitting it. He shouldn't be. On a motherfucking trailer bus. <sighs> what? I mean, Girl. the whole thing about it is that this ain't it's a lot of, of fucked up shit that's happened with Haiti that didn't have anything to do with Donald Trump. Amen. Had a lot to do with Hillary Clinton and a lot to do with Barack Obama. Uh-oh. So. Had a lot to do with Democrats. So, Had come a lot on. to do with American politics. We gotta care about politics. And Haitian politics themselves have Ooh. just been a fucking pothole of fuck they've had so many crooked politicians so i've heard people call it shithole so is it fucked up of course especially to people that are haitian yeah for you to talk about they land like that of course but america's being triggered just to be triggered just because he said what he said like come on y'all y'all call y'all talk shit about haiti y'all said god hates haiti and here's my thing uh if you are one of those that you know find just issue um with with maybe this remark over others which, hey, it's your right. I can understand Absolutely. it. I suggest you just kind of use this information um, when, you, when, you, when you reference why he pissed you off. Because, I mean, the Trump administration actually late last year had announced that it would end the TPS designation for Haiti. So that affected tens of thousands of Haitian immigrants mm-hmm. last year. You know what I mean? Um, yep. Monday of this year, he announced that he was going to end protections on more than 200,000 Salvadorians. Yep. He never gave a fuck about Puerto Rico. So, I mean, come from the perspective of that's how he feels about all of these motherfucking countries that can't kind yeah. of like support themselves and haven't really done a great job in trying to build an infrastructure to do so. Yeah. That's the Republican mindset. And he's a businessman. He's more to see how, how can you build a business, which is, you know, an, an economy. Right. And your so economy that's why, is your business. So yeah. how can you structure your own business? We don't want you over here fucking up our structure. And I mean, However, that's he why was racist gross. when he chose the Norwegian. And that's what I'm trying to say. You gross as <laughs> he's fuck. A no one's taking away your no, disgusting we're not taking that qualities. Away. We're not taking I just away. want our people to be educated when Absolutely. they speak about it. Absolutely. Let's not. And, and while we do know that there's a fucking oppression, and while we do know that there's a fucking racist bastard mm-hmm. in what we call the White House, um, I don't know that that's some new shit. He's you know not what I'm an saying? overt. He's not a covert racist, okay? Bingo. He's not covert. And Bingo. I hate when a motherfucker throw rocks and then hide their hands because now you got all these people believing you were one type of way when your politics proved different. I mean, Donald Trump weren't paying do attention. what he say he going to do when he do it. At least we know what to expect with this motherfucker. Exactly. Let me the, tell you something. My business favorites? taxes, my business taxes, I already know I'm not going to have no problem out of them. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, and if you got a small business, then you feel me. Um, I am a little bit concerned. 
you know, that I'm not married and I have children. Uh, you ain't we gonna claiming see, them kids, I'm going to say, we're going to see. Uh, you don't make enough money to claim them children. Child. So we're going to, we, well, not maybe not last year. You know what I'm saying? But no. here's the thing. I was 200K. making too much. Yeah, that was the thing. I was making too much to get a fucking no. credit. And now you. 